chop suey and indeed all of Hopper's best works really deal with humanity and the relationships between people in their shared space of isolation. This painting actually was inspired by an American Chinese restaurant not far from where I'm standing in Columbus Circle. And it's extraordinary how Hopper is able to capture the uh, meanings between these conversations, what's said and also what, what isn't said as well. Our uh, estimated range is between 70 to 100 million dollars, uh, which uh, when we are successful will be a world record price for the artist and indeed a piece of American art. Um, behind me, we are offering Picasso's work from 1931, um, painted in Guadeloupe. Here we have Picasso working in his studio while still married to Olga, um, but Marie Therese has become increasingly important to him. Um, we see the bust of her that he depicts in this almost sculpted way through his paints, this thick surface on a grand scale. Um, it's estimated at 25 to 35 million, and I think really speaks to where we are in the market right now for Picasso and especially for 1930s works by him. We have a masterpiece by Francis Bacon that's coming from the collection of the late Cy Newhouse. Um, this is really one of Bacon's greatest paintings. It's a small painting at 14 inches, but it really packs a punch. It has everything that you can that you can hope for in a Bacon. It has energy. You know, every brush stroke is is purposely and wonderfully used. Um, we have just behind me, a beautiful painting from the collection of Mary Tyler Moore. And it's a beautiful painting from 1985 by Devon Korn. Um, this is actually a painting that is as fresh to market as you can dream of. This painting she bought in 1988 and stayed in her collection until her death. Um, and it's, it's a masterpiece by Devon Korn. This